live outside Toronto City Hall where another weekend of rallies is ongoing. Today, activists are calling on the city to defund the police and dozens have gathered here. They have been here since about 3 o'clock listening to speakers and musical performances. Many say they are disappointed that Toronto City Councillors voted against a motion to defund the police this week. The rallies are becoming a regular sight outside Toronto City Hall. Dozens of people once again calling on the city to defund the police. We need to be heard and recognized and the system needs to be changed or else it's going to get worse. Activists have been converging here almost every weekend to get their message across. Holding Black Lives Matter signs, they say they won't give up until there is change. Change is not going to happen in one day. You need to keep going, keep going, keep going until finally change happens. Some progress was made this week. Toronto City Council voting in favour of a number of police reforms, including the creation of a non-police response team for mental health calls after the deaths of Regis korczynski Paquet in Toronto and Ijaz Chaudhry in Mississauga. The 62-year-old was shot and killed by Peel Police during a mental health call. All I've been hearing condolences, condolences, condolences. What are condolences going to do? Well, the main thing we want to see right now is the officers should be fired. The city also voted to mandate body cameras for all officers by 2021. But the changes stalled when it came to the 2021 police budget. It shows a complete failure on behalf of our government. We're just making out statements but not following through with real tangible actions. Councillor Josh Matlow had called for a 10% cut and a reallocation of the savings towards community services, but that motion failed. We were all hoping that it would, and we just don't think that that's fair and we won't stand for it. The movement to defund the police was propelled into the mainstream after a series of protests in the United States sparked by the killings of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. Some American cities have already answered the calls. This week, Los Angeles slashed its police budget by $150 million. Activists in Toronto want to see similar steps taken here. I think it's a time to listen and, and put into place a real proactive positions. Police have too much, um, I guess, power to be able to deal with these situations. We can be putting that into community outreaches. We can be putting into after-school programs for kids. We need to put back money into the community. And it looks like the rally is going to wrap up in the next few minutes, but Director X just took the stage. He's speaking as we speak right now. Now, the Toronto Police budget currently stands at $1.2 billion, and it's worth noting that, according to Toronto Police, the project to have all officers wearing body cameras by 2021 will cost 2 to $3 million in the first year just to start, and then $50 million over the next 10 years to implement. We'll have more on this rally throughout the show.